they always say that if you do what you love, then you never work a day in your life. And I think that is a very true statement. Part of the reason why I love boudoir so much is because I photographed my mom. Uh, I photographed a boudoir session for her uh, the couple months before she passed away. And she had always been super, really hard on herself and, you know, didn't love herself and wasn't confident. And she was a beautiful woman, but always had that same issue that I think a lot of us have and very self-conscious and, you know, don't think that we look perfect because I feel like society puts such high standards on us to be something that we're not. I had a great, I had a great childhood. I remember being on horses probably before I could walk, dragging saddles to the barn and cleaning horse stalls and all that good stuff. You hungry? You hungry? Yeah. That you can look at a horse and you can look in their eyes and they can tell you what they're feeling. You know, they can tell you if they're happy, they can tell you if they're sad, if they're hurting, if they're scared, you just look in their eyes and you can, they tell you their story. You know, you're coming and you're being very vulnerable. And I feel like horses are the same way, especially with the horses that I've rescued. You know, you have to build that trust. You have to build, you know, that, that connection with them. So where you, what I'm really asking you do is bring your chest to the seat, okay? So arch as much as you can and you're going to come up on the top of your head. Are you ready? Yep, just like okay. that. Horses are very, very much like people, you know? They have, they sense that that trust, they sense, they, you know, they sense your energy, you know, and I feel like people do too, you know, you can, you can tell when somebody's good and when they have good intentions or they have bad intentions. Okay, close your eyes, open your mouth and breathe for me, there you go. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Being in love and having that person there with you every day is, you know, you fight and you want to kill each other, and but you have that person that's that backbone when you need it and that support when you need it, and when you don't want to shoot anything and he makes you go and do it, and when you shoot something that you think is terrible and he's like, are you crazy? That's wonderful. What are you talking about? My horses, I feel like they connect with me and they connect, they connect with your soul. My mom and I have always felt that exact same way, and so that's always connected us. And I feel like a lot of the times when I miss her, I'll go, I'll go sit in the barn. You know, and like on Mother's Day, I went and rode my horses um, just so I could be with her. And so it's always been, it's always really important for me um, to be able to have that, that bond, you know. Not with just the animals, but it still connects me with my mom.